So it turned out that the bounty hunter was a dragon. I'm going to start with that right off the rip. I did not expect that to be a factor and that may or may not be the thumbnail because that wasn't even the biggest emphasis of the episode and I gotta say I did not expect him to go, him to go down that easily and I wish they you know really kind of like grew like grew the whole why is he a dragon thing you know I wish they grew upon that idea hey he's a dragon now let's discuss how and or why he's a dragon or at least give us you know some reasoning as to why he is a dragon straight up and I hope I explained you know explain that good enough but I was just wondering like He's not a person like Nina, so then how the hell is this guy a dragon? But I gotta say, we just had a dragon that was stronger than Nina. He was clearly stronger than Nina, and we have Safiel. And Azazel will take him down like that. Literally, Safiel could have took that dragon down by himself. That's the, that, or by herself, excuse me. That's the crazy part. We finally got to see her fight, and she's technically a god, I guess, technically. She's not just an angel, so I'm not sure, um, you know, of any gods named Safiel. I'm trying to I'm trying to think. Obviously, we all know Bachu is the goddess, of, or the goddess, but the god of wine. So, you know, I'm really interested as to Safiel, which god is she? I may have to look into that, you know, to see if she's even a god at all, or if she's just made up for the story but she is a god of ice apparently and she literally defeated that dragon by herself given a zazel finished it off but she had it under control which i was like holy shit no way but um other than that i know you guys are going to want to talk about the ending of the show so i'm going to skip some stuff and get there right now in the first like minute and a half of this video so we see that i think alizen i think his name's pronounced alizen used to be a knight for kaiser we all know this he seems to kill Mugro, which I don't think Mugro is going to go down that easy. He's an angel, so they probably heal way. Like he really got to run them through, but it did look like he got stabbed in the heart, so I'm not really sure. But we know Mugro is special. Mugro is not just an ordinary angel. She's the you know quote or he is the quote unquote strongest technically angel there is in terms of just straight up power. You know, that's why he is the key to this war that Angels have been saying in the past episodes. So, I'm not really sure, but that's that's crazy. If Muguro did die, that's nuts. That's nuts. And Alizen? I mean, I, I already thought he was a piece of shit, but wow. Wow. I hope he died. I hope that this anime kills his character off. Because if he did that, that's... Uh, no. No, 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 no. That, that's not flying with me, man. That, that'd be so shitty. Have Muguro die like that. But it, I mean, it, it would be, it would cause some emotion, you know, it would cause emotion from the audience and make us feel something. So I guess it would be good writing at the end of the day. So we also do get to see a little bit of Favreau's emotion in this episode to find out that he sees, you know, Mira and Nina. I guess that makes a lot of sense. I mean, it must have been something from, you know, right off the rip. I guess that curiosity that Nina has kind of mimics Nira's and, you know, or Mira. I said Nira's, I think. So, who cares? They're, they're two. They're both one and the same. Nira. That's the new name. No, but we see that they're, you know, the personalities do have similarity, you know, similarities, except Nina's just quite a bit more outgoing, if I do say so myself. I mean a lot more outgoing when I, I just mean sarcastic, guys. A lot more outgoing and a lot more, I guess, curious per se or she's just so curious like she brings it you know upon someone strongly as to Ramirez kind of like what's that and he's just kind of like up in your face so it's cool to see that you know and we saw father's like no I'm not letting another person that close to me someone close to my heart die like that again just slipped through my fingers when I could have possibly done something and I really did enjoy that scene it's cool to anytime we get father I love it you know I think we all do we all anyone who likes Shingeki no Bahama, you know Bahama if you don't like father then you are clueless. I'm sorry. It's a fact. Am I right? Am I right, Shingeki no Bahamut fan? But we also do find out that Cherios has a weapon that came before the gods. It, I think they said it predates before the gods, which means to come, you know, come before. So that's something that's really interesting. So we have an ancient artifact that was there before the gods were even born. So God himself, the angels, stuff like that. So that's something that's... Like, holy crap, you know, who made this then? Is someone, did someone from the past come here? Is this device going to be used, you know, to time, time travel is something I really, really got to ask. Because we see that Chiriori says, I'm going to open the rift. I'm going to, Ebio is it Ebios or, you know, is it Ebios or Ebios? I can't remember which one it was. But, um, we see that. We see that he says that. He's opening the rift. 
But Rift to where and Rift to what, per se, is the biggest question, you know? Rift to where? What is this Rift all about? Is he bringing it back the, you know, the the ancient people, the ancient civilization that predates back back before the demons and the, and the gods and or angels? We don't know. So I'm really interested as to where that is going. Great episode of Shingeki no Baha Mutt. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. I feel like I was, I was just kind of off this video, man. I was just off of this shit. Yeah, I am strong as fuck. I just threw up in the costume. But no, with that guys being said, and that um I just I, I, I just don't know anymore. Cut 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 the video. God that's good shit.